Hi, fourth graders. Um, I'm so excited to be sharing this story with you. Um, We're going to be doing a little quick read aloud today to start digital um, distance learning off um, with a story called The Technology Tale. It is written by Julia Cook and illustrated by Anita Dufala. Um, and I'll explain right after the story why this story is so important to distance learning. All right, here we go. Hey there, I see you. It's me, your friend, the screen. Please don't post those words. I don't like to be mean. Whoa, who's there? It's me, your screen. Screens don't talk. I do, I talk all the time and I have a lot to say. If you hit send or post those words, you will ruin your entire day and your entire tomorrow too. Huh, why? Because it will hurt your tail. My what? Your technology tail. I don't have a tail. Yes, you do. Everybody does. It follows you day and night. Everything you pass to others through me is attached to you for life. Everything you post sticks to your tail and becomes a part of you. Once you hit send, it's on there for good and there's nothing you can do. Seriously, I thought you knew. Nope, didn't know that. Just look at your tail. See all these things. These are gifts you have given yourself. Your tail gets a gift when you post something nice or when you use your words to help. But when you post things that are hurtful or mean, your tail gets a bruise, scratch, or tear. Then others feel bad because of you and the mean things you've chosen to share. And since I'm stuck in the middle of it all, I turn into an irresponsible mean screen. And I worry about that a lot. What really stinks about my job is that over time, people start to develop keyboard courage. What's that? It means they post things online that they would never say or do to a person face to face. And some of that stuff can be really mean and inappropriate. Did you know that every time you post a put down, the person who gets it needs 10 pull ups just to feel better? That's 10 sincere compliments for just one put down. That's a lot. I am your screen. I see it all. Everything you send goes through me. See, here's that picture you posted last week when you and your friends climbed that tree. Now that was a blast. This one's neat. It's a wonderful gift. It's that picture you took of a stray. You did all you could to find that kitty a home. Now that was a really great day. Here are the selfies you took with your friends on the day when you went to the mall. I can't believe how happy you look and that friend of yours is so tall. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, how come I didn't get a gift for that one? Well, you left out one friend on purpose and then posted pictures to put her down. My friend watched her face when she saw them online and her smile turned into a frown. Oh, yeah. She told her mom about it and her mom called my mom and I got grounded for two whole days. Hey, if you were my kid, I would have grounded you for two years. <laughs> well then, so Good thing screens don't have kids. Hey, this wasn't a mean post. How come I got a scratch for it? Because it made the person you sent it to feel bad. Well, then she read it wrong. Some people are so sensitive. Yeah, that happens a lot. Unfortunately, I can only post words and a few symbols, not the human expressions and hidden meanings that go along with them. 
Talking online is easy, but it will never be as powerful as face-to-face -face communication. Hopefully you humans will start to realize that. That's a hole. How to get that? Holes come from posts that are not very smart, like when you shared test answers and language arts. You know about that too? Yep. You got this hole for posting your address online. Now that wasn't very smart. And here's where you announced to the entire world you were heading to Yellowstone Park for 10 whole days. About this one. Oh, that happened when you shared your password with your friends. Now, why would you go and do that? Your password is private information between um, me and you. Not you and the whole wide world. How can I possibly protect you when that happens? <laughs> There's no way you know about all of that stuff. Oh, yes. And it's not just me that knows. The people who know where to look can find everything you've ever sent. It's like all you have done in a book. You have to really think about what you're doing when you're posting online because that technology tale of yours will follow you through time. You'll end up dragging it around every single day and believe you me, a wounded tale will surely get in your way. How? A technology tale that is bruised, scratched, or torn tells others that you are unkind. They won't want to hang out with you because they're afraid of what they might find. Schools will tell you no whenever you try to apply. All the scratches, bruises, and tears on your tail will show them you've made others cry. When employers see holes and wounds, they won't want to hire you. They will assume you're irresponsible online and that you say stuff that's mean and untrue. But look, right now, your tale's pretty good. You've posted so many great things. If you keep it up, you'll be surprised by the gifts a great tale can bring. Like what? Like a good right now and an even better later and a much happier screen. What's posted today will matter tomorrow. It just isn't all about now. You have to think past the end of your nose and I can show you how. Put on a pair of think gloves before you touch the keys. They'll filter out the stuff that's not good. They'll look a lot like these. How do they work? Ask yourself these five questions. T, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? K, is it kind? And if you can honestly answer yes, then post, forward, text, send, and tweet away. You won't even have to guess. But if the answer to any of those questions ends up being no, let the think gloves stop your post. Hit delete. It's the best way to go. Always remember you are in charge. You choose what goes on your tail. If you filter your words correctly, your actions will never fail. Now, fourth graders, I bet you can guess why I would choose to um, read this picture book aloud to you today. We are starting something that is so different than our normal day at school. You have access to your Chromebooks at home, which means I'm not there to monitor your every move. Your parents are there, but they are probably not gonna be over your shoulder the entire time. So I'm asking you to be very careful of what you do online. 
You know the rules that we have at school, and I know that your parents are going to have rules for you too. You need to be keeping yourself safe, and you need to be smart about what you post and do online. So we're going to be talking a lot more throughout the week of how to be safe online, but I wanted to read this to you today to kind of get you thinking about the different steps and um, rules that you need to be following in order um, to be safe. So with that being said, we'll talk more about this later. I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. We'll be doing many more um, and I am really excited to see you all. All right, have a great day.